This week on In the Kitchen with Pete, we're doing lemon and herb salmon. Salmon that I've purchased from Costco. Olivia Atlantic Salmon. It's flash frozen in individual portions. It's farm raised located in Norway. Sometimes farm raised is not the best option, but I've researched their farming procedures and ethics and I'm a big fan of their salmon. This is a regular weekly meal for us. And what I like about it is I can remove a piece or two in the morning, place it in the refrigerator, and then it's ready to be cooked for dinner. Seasoning is important. Let's put together three quarters of a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, one teaspoon of ground rosemary, three quarters teaspoon of dill, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of pepper. We'll also need a couple wedges of lemon. You can cut those and set those off to the side for when we're cooking. We'll have enough seasoning here for at least two or three fillets. If you have a little extra, place it in a Ziploc bag and save it for another day. Generously season both sides of each salmon fillet. On a medium to high heat, we'll add one teaspoon of butter and one teaspoon of olive oil. The butter gives it some flavor and also helps prevent the olive oil from burning. You wanna hear that nice sizzle when you put those fillets down and give them a gentle press so you ensure that you're gonna get a good solid sear. Depending on how you like your salmon cooked, it'll take between two to four minutes on each side. Personally, four minutes is good for me. And then I give it a flip, and now it's time to get those lemon wedges out, one for each filet, and then quickly cover it, turn the heat down to medium, and that'll be another four minutes for me. And here it is, fresh out of the pan. Oh my, mouth watering. It's time to plate that up. Maybe I'll put a little side of rice. You can always garnish it with another piece of lemon. You're gonna love it. Well, that was another simple and delicious recipe. If you enjoyed it, I've got many more. Just press that little subscribe button. You'll get notified every time I post a new one. Well, thanks for coming out and watching In the Kitchen with Pete. Until next time, see ya.